All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Peter Renna back with another video edition of Dollarman Digging. This is actually the video that I would have filmed for my selections last week. I didn't film a video initially, but I'm trying something out different, a little different this time out. Uh, with the winter season coming, and I'm not going to be able to hit flea markets or even hit shops a lot, for a lot of dollar bin pickups. I'm not going to be able to do my standard, show you a big stack of books that I just bought that week because it's just not plausible. I can't keep up the pace. I'm not going to have enough interesting stuff to show you guys. So uh, rather than just pack it in, I'm still going to be writing the article every week and going to be sharing stuff like I did last week, but it doesn't necessarily have to be something I just bought. So I'm going to change the presentation a little bit, try to keep these very, very short and just give you the four picks that I went with and uh, see how it goes. I'm going to try dropping this on my personal channel here, as well as share with share it with uh, Tales from the Flip Side to see uh, uh, see what you guys think. So with that said, I'm going to start in with my dollar bin picks for this for last week. Uh, and the first one I had was Mystic 15. I found out about this book through Topher, as true first, that uh, there's a little fun, sneaky a uh, little Easter egg appearance in this book. So that kind of got me on this thought process. And I did actually find that that book as my lone dollar bin pickup last week. So that's what got me thinking about this this topic. So I rolled with it and then came up with a couple, a couple of other options that kind of fit that similar kind of criteria of these weird little appearances that you wouldn't expect, these little Easter egg kind of uh, cameos. So the first one, again, Mystic 15. This was a cross-gen book. Uh, you know, I don't know a lot of you might not uh, remember or read cross in but it was a, was a nice little imprint for a while there it's some great art uh some good stories i mean i check it out especially in the cheap bins but this particular issue again magic themed had a lot of magical characters appear so we had if you look at this this layout i love these kind of like where's waldo type montages they throw things out and there's all kinds of little hidden gems just in there i'm not going to list them all because uh, i don't want to get all the names wrong uh so i'm going to just throw out some of the ones that i uh I spotted so we have if you can see dr fate you know sitting right there up near the bar um uh, you got dr strange a little bit down the way from him i think that's clea next to him um then you go down to the bottom a little bit in the page hidden in the back there you can see uh morpheus sandman kind of hi hiding there as well as promethea and then you got scarlet witch who we'll be seeing on uh, disney plus soon and then if you kind of sneak a look in the background you have uh mr mitzel Pitalik, and you know, he's kind of sneaking up back there and then you also got the Phantom Stranger just kind of creating that border. You almost forget, miss him because he's like so close in, in the foreground. And uh, as a uh, commenter posted in the, my article, that looks like Dopey down in front. And uh, I'm not sure if that's Doc or what other uh, uh, dwarf he's uh, chilling out there with, but there's Dopey. Sorry. I'm sorry I missed Dopey the first time. But if you sneak in and kind of zoom in a little bit on this image, you can see that it's there's a couple more back there. And uh, if you sneak in, you, I can quickly, you can see there's, you know, Etrigan, Etrigan, uh, the demon. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Again, I butcher names. And uh, Dormammu, again, could be messing that all up. Uh, Doctor Strange's villain, kind of back there. But then this kid with the glasses kind of looks familiar. It, I mean, his wand's a little different, but, you know, probably for uh, legal purposes, but kind of looks like Harry Potter to me. So whether this is a, the true first appearance of Harry Potter in comics or there's a fun little uh, Easter egg, I dig it. And uh, I think it's worth uh, picking up for a buck if you find it, because it's kind of fun. Because it's Harry Potter. I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. But looks like him to me. But it is what it is. So again, that's what kind of got me with, on this thought process. So I decided to come up with a couple other books that kind of fit that criteria, and uh, just rolled from there. So the next one that I got is actually Thor 341. Uh, this was during Simonson's run, you know, on the title. And uh, in here, there's just a fun little uh, a little bump into, a little meet cute, if you will, of, uh, you know, Thor with uh, Clark Kent. I mean, it's obviously Clark Kent when you look at him from the glasses, how he's drawn, you know, the blue suit. It's, you know, clumsy even. I, I think he might even be named Clark in here. But, I mean, that looks like it's got to be Clark and Lois. But the, a little Superman appearance here, you know, Superman or Clark Kent in Thor is just kind of fun. And again, this, this Simons and Run was great, so you should go find these if you can find them on the cheap. That's how I bought most of mine, um, you know, to read. But uh, if you see this one out there, yeah, just get it. It's not fun. It's a dollar. So the next one was uh, Amazing Spider-Man 411, which if you're, I couldn't believe, we actually kind of takes us back to Crime Alley. 
it's kind of odd. This was also during the uh, the Spider Clone, so I think this is Ben Riley Spider Man. Uh, so I know a lot of people weren't a big fan of the title at that time. A lot of problems with Ben Riley being a uh, Spidey, but you know the whole clone thing. But whatever, still kind of fun that we get here. You get the familiar scene. Look, you got the, the pearls being ripped. You got the parents out with the chick. They're you know they're young kid. They're out with Bruce, and they are not shy about pointing out who this is. But in this case, Spidey saves him. So we don't get Batman. Batman is not created thanks to Spider-Man. But if you look, they kind of just put it right there for you. That it's, I mean, they're not subtle about it. Like, you look, the kid, he's even got a Batman shirt on. Like, <laughs> you can't be any more, like, in your face than that. So it's still fun. I still think it's a fun little appearance. So, uh... ASM 411. If you see it for cheap, just grab it. Just cause it's kind of fun. Uh, I think this was a was this Bagley. I think this might have been still during uh, Mark Bagley's run. So he was a great Spider-Man artist. It's just it just it's easy to read, very comfortable. It just flowed. But hey, it is what it is. Just a fun little uh, little Easter egg again. Which takes us to our last one, which is another book that uh, I see all the time uh, in dollar boxes. And after that little pause. And that book is Spawn 10. Uh, this is the uh, crossover with uh, Cerebus. And you, the early spawns, there are tons printed. Tons, tons, tons. You find them in dollar bins all the time. I mean, most of the ones have been picked out. And a lot of the nines, because of Angela, are all gone. But a lot of the other issues, including number 10, are there. Now, why you care? I don't know if you do care. But I think it's kind of fun that there's like a crossover of universes kind of in here and there's a lot of characters kind of referenced and just kind of pop it up here uh this is one scene alone i'm just going to focus here on, on this one scene alone not go into the whole crossover of the issue i haven't read it in forever so i don't remember a lot of it but just looking at this jail scene image alone you can see all the familiar gl hand gloved hands just reaching out for help to spawn and i think it was really cool i mean just going through you can see you've got flash you know, at the top there. I'm going to kind of go down, again, down the down the first row. And then you can see Juggernaut, obviously. Uh, the next one, I at first thought it was Doctor Doom, but I'm kind of thinking due to the, like, the girth and, the, like, the size of the hand, that looks maybe more like Colossus to me. So it's not confirmed. I don't know where I can confirm this information, but it kind of looks like Colossus to me, even though the band around his wrist is still silver and not, like, red or anything that might be a little more identifying. That's how it reads to me. Uh, again, because it's also right next to Juggernaut. And then you can just scroll down uh, a little bit further, and you see Hulk. You know, Hulk's obviously gi ginormous paw just uh, just down there. And then if you kind of roll back up, we're going to go to the next uh, row of uh, the cage, and you can see that's obviously Superman. You got the blue suit, you know, and then just the bare fist sticking out right there. And then right kind of sticking out of the same hole, you got the Amazing Spider-Man. Obvious, you know, Todd drawing Spider-Man. It, it it just easily, and then you have Venom, Venom right there. So. Dodd drawn is a his old favorites, and then you got Shazam. You know what I mean, just right down there, you know, kind of sneaking in there. A lot of people forget about Captain Marvel, but Shazam is right there in this uh, this conglomerate of heroes as well. So rolling back up to the top, obviously you can see the big orange rock. You see the thing, you know, that's obviously got to be the thing, right? And then kind of right next to him a little bit, you just see that little black and red band that looks like Thor's arm to me. So looks like we got a Thor appearance in this jail cell. And kind of looks like, to me, it looks like Beast. Maybe Dark Beast? I don't know. It's got a bluish, furry look. That hand down below, it kind of looks like Beast to me. But I can't say it for certain. So I'm just kind of guessing that that's Beast. Roll down. Obviously, you can see Wolverine. It's got the blue glove, the claws. Not extended, but you can see, you know, where they're coming from. So obviously, that's got to be Wolverine, right? Obviously. So... And then you got Batman, as you can see. Uh, you can also see Batman's arm down there at the bottom as well. So kind of, you know, sticking with that kind of area, right next to Bats, you can see that looks like Wonder Woman's arm with, uh, you know, her bracelets. Yeah, she deflects, deflecting her bullets, uh, you know, down there. And then you got Green Lantern. Looks like he's right there next to her, right, right next to Diana. And that yellow glove just kind of stay on that bottom row. I'm guessing it could be Doctor Strange. I don't know a lot of heroes that have yellow gloves, but uh, Doctor Strange did have them for a while, so that was my guess, that that's Doctor Strange's yellow glove down there at the back. Could it be somebody else? Obviously it could, but that's that's my guess. The yellow glove, Doctor Strange. 
And then we go up a little bit there. Our, uh, I think it's our last hero in this crowd. We got Captain America. So you can see Cap's, you know, this little frilled glove kind of sticking up there. So now the last couple, I think these are the villains that he kind of, Todd kind of snuck in at the back. You can obviously see the Doc Ock arm, you know, coming out. That's very, very obvious. As well as the, as well as the Joker. You can see that purple glove and the purple suit, like just sticking out there. And then again, who I thought it was at first, I think this might be Dr. Doom's hand back here. It's a little more smaller. It's still an armored gauntlet, but it's not as, as big as the other one. So I'm thinking this might be Dr. Doom's hand on uh, this side. So again, just fun stuff, just fun stuff. Uh, I don't know if anybody cares, but grab this book just for that, just because it's kind of fun. You pour over it, you look at the image, see what you see if you see who it is. And if you think I'm wrong and you you know think it's somebody else, tell me. Put it in the comments. Let us know because I'd love to know who those could be too. Again, a couple of them, I'm just not sure about. They're my guesses. Most of them I think are pretty obvious, and we all can see it. But with that said, you know, thanks for checking in. Just try to keep this kind of short, little 10 minute video or so. So. Uh, I'm going to maybe try this out going forward. We'll see how it works. So if you guys like it, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel. You know, like and subscribe to Tails as well. Uh, and we'll just keep the content rolling. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this because I enjoy doing it. So until next time.